It's the early 1800s and you're an explorer. You're traveling south across West Africa from the north to the Ivory Coast. You would pass through the Sahara Desert, go through Sudan, scale the mountains of Kong, and travel through Upper Guinea. The same trip today would look a little different, however. Now, you would travel through the Sahara Desert in the countries of Mali and Algeria and pass through Burkina Faso and Côte d'Ivoire. There's no mountains in sight. So what happened to the mountains of Kong? As it turns out, it's not so much a mystery. These mountains didn't disappear in 200 years. They just never existed. So if they never existed, why were they present and on pretty much every map in the early 1800s? The mountains of Kong were first depicted in 1798 by James Rennell. They were based on observations by Mungo Park. Mungo Park, after gazing upon a distant range, said, quote, People informed me that these mountains were situated in a large and powerful kingdom called Kong, end quote. Rennell assumed that this mountain range was the source of the Niger River, and he drew his map depicting the range. In his map, the Kong Mountains were an east-west range in West Africa from the Gulf of Guinea to the Niger River. Rennell's assumption and illustrations led to decades of confusion and misinformation. Many maps are based on other maps, so Rennell's depiction of the Kong Mountains found its way into other maps in the early 1800s. Many explorers believe that the mountains actually existed, and why wouldn't they? The mountains were on their maps. Some of the maps even had the mountains stretching all the way to Ethiopia thousands of miles across Africa. Some explorers even believe that they had crossed the range. In writings of the time, the mountains of Kong were described to be barren, snow-covered, and lofty. They had rugged granite peaks and limestone terraces, and they were described as being almost blue. Accounts of the elevation of the mountains ranged from 2,500 feet to 14,000 feet. Keep in mind, these mountains do not exist and have never existed. There was some doubt of existence in the 1800s, but it took until 1889 to definitively disprove the existence of the range. This was done so by a French explorer, Louise Gustave Binger. After Binger's discovery, the range began to disappear from maps. Kong remained as a name for the region, and still does to this day. Despite being dropped from maps, the range still had some appearances in the 20th century. One appearance was in the 1928 Bartholomew Oxford Advanced Atlas, where it was listed in the index and was even given coordinates. Another appearance was in the 1995 edition of the Goods World Atlas.